table. On that news point, let's go right now to Chris Dodd, who's a member of the Health Committee, talking about the committee action. Uh, we missed Ted Kemp. Uh, he was here in spirit this morning. I talked to him, <coughs> excuse me, earlier, and he was very excited about the fact that his committee would be the first committee to mark up a bill, uh, send it to the uh, floor. Obviously, we need to meld the uh, bill to the, uh, to the Finance Committee effort that I know they'll be making in the next couple of weeks as we move forward. Most important, beyond the sense that we feel about having achievements for millions of our fellow citizens, those without coverage, those who have too high deductibles or out-of-pocket expenses, or those who are losing their jobs and worry about whether or not their health care coverage, this is a response to them. They deserve better in a country of this great affluence, of this great ability, with the professional class we have in our health care area. Uh, we ought to be able to do a lot better than we've been doing. We spend more and get less for a health care system than, than Americans deserve. This bill, because of what we've done, we think is going to increase access, it's going to reduce costs uh, to individuals, and it's going to improve the quality of health care in our country. We're going to have to make some investments to achieve those results, but we're prepared to do that. Uh, this is an important moment. We may never get a better chance to do it. It's no longer just unacceptable. Uh, the health care system. It's unsustainable. We cannot continue. And we are determined to get this done in this Congress. And we have a president who's determined to get it done as well and prepared to expend whatever capital, in his own words, to achieve the result of his, uh, his political capital to get this achieved, to get this accomplished. That makes us bring together the synergy and the opportunity to do what every other Congress and every other administration has been unable to achieve for almost seven decades. We're determined that that will not happen on our watch. With that, let me turn to Senator Harkin and the rest of my colleagues. Tom? Well, first of all, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for your great leadership uh, on, on getting us to over the finish line. It's been a long slog, but we all worked hard. We all stuck together. And what we now have is we now have a bill that does four things. Uh, it reduces costs, it protects choice, it assures coverage for all Americans, and it also begins to uh, change our system to be a health care system rather than just a sick care system. As President Obama has said many times, that prevention and wellness and public health is the one way that we're going to change the system so that we can keep costs down in the future. And in this bill, we have made great strides forward in, uh, in uh, putting more emphasis on prevention, keeping people healthy in the first place, and keeping them out of the hospital. And so I think this is, this is a good bill for America. It is the right prescription for what ails this country right now. And I want to thank all my colleagues for all of the great work they did and sitting here through all these long hours and, and drafting a bill that, uh, that I believe now will garner a lot of support uh, in the Senate. And I believe we'll get it over the finish line sometime this fall. And uh, we're going to have this on the president's desk uh, sometime early this fall. Barbara? Well, today we meet our responsibility to the American people by now providing universal health care coverage to all Americans. Health care coverage that is available, undeniable, and affordable. Available to all without any discrimination on the basis of a previous condition, uh, no discrimination on the basis of gender. And it means that if you're a father and you lose your job, your children will not lose their health care. If you are a mother uh, dealing with an autistic child, you will be able to have the doctor that you need when you need it, and no one can then deny that care. We make it affordable by focusing on new thinking in prevention and quality that we know through our quality initiatives, whether it's reducing medical errors, needless hospital readmissions, uh, and also better management of chronic disease, we can save over $500 billion in our health 
health care system. And we guarantee that if you like what you've got, you'll get to keep it. But if you need something new, you'll be able to go through a new gateway and find something that's affordable, personalized to your family. We did it because we Democrats work together. We regret that the Republicans did not support this bill, even though we gave them hours of debate, opportunities to offer unlimited amendments, and to be able to speak their mind, vote their will. But at the end of the day, they did not want to support universal health coverage for all Americans. So it's a question of on whose side are you? We stand here today on the side of the American people. We stand here on the side of American providers, where we want to get rid of their hassle so they can do value-based care. We stand on the side of history that says we, the Democrats, know how to do a social contract with the American people that provides them with the safety net in terms of the health care they need. And I want to thank Senator Chris Dodd for the leadership that he provided. He stepped in. Uh, at when needed. He provided the leadership that was called for, and he provided the skill and openness and transparency of the debate that I think truly honors this committee in the Senate. Chris, we thank you, uh, and I thank my colleagues for all of their hard work and their great contributions. Thanks, very much, Walt. Jeff.